How long will you live? Call me morbid, but I think about death all the time. I imagine how I will go. And sometimes I think about weird, random stuff like, If I were to die in a car crash, what would be the last song I was listening to before the crash? You may not think about death much, but if you want to know how long you will live, there are plenty of websites to help you out. Just like life insurance companies look at data to predict your life expectancy, there are calculators and quizzes where you can enter your personal data to predict when your time runs out. But there are other more general predictors. Number one, generally, if you are a woman, you will live a longer life. Number two, generally, the richer you are, the longer life you will live. And number three, generally, the richer the country is you live in, regardless of how rich you are personally, the longer life you will live. First of all, why do guys not live as long as girls? While there are many cultural explanations, for example, the stereotype that men only seek medical attention when forced to or under severe conditions, a recent study actually said a genetic explanation is better. After studying a group of men for many years, researchers found that there was a correlation between a loss of the Y chromosome in proportion to white blood cells, as well as a correlation between the loss of the Y chromosome and shorter survival, regardless of the specific cause of death. Second, the richer someone is, the more likely he or she is going to live a longer life. According to an analysis by the Brookings Institute, a 55-year-old American man and the richest 10% of the country can expect to live another 35 years, but a 55-year-old American man and the poorest 10% can only expect to live another 24. And with the widening gap between rich and poor in the country, perhaps life expectancy won't go up as much as originally predicted. Finally, and this is a big one, what country you were born in matters significantly. Sometimes I wake up in the morning and I think, gee, I sure am lucky that I was born in the United States of America. Mostly because I realize the odds of me living a longer life are much greater than they would be in other parts of the world. The life expectancy in India is 65 years old. The life expectancy in Somalia is 50 years old. The life expectancy in Sierra Leone is 47.5 years old. I know that sounds young, but just 10 years ago, the life expectancy there was 41 years old. Here in the United States, the average lifespan went up to 78.8 this year. That's pretty darn good, but not as good as Monaco, where the average lifespan is 89.7. So why is there such a gap? Why do people only live to 47 in one country, yet live to almost twice that age in another country? First of all, the lower life expectancies are misleading. We typically see life expectancy statistics that are strongly shaped by infant mortality rates. Where and when life expectancy is low, that generally means there are many who do not make it past their childhood. However, if they do make it past their childhood, they almost live as old as they would in most other countries today. The United States is a great example of this. From 1900 to 1998, life expectancy from birth for Americans increased from 47 to 75. However, in 1900, life expectancy for someone who made it to his or her 20th birthday was about 63. In 1900, 150 out of 1,000 babies did not live past their first year. Today, just 6 out of 1,000 babies do not live past their first year. Still, it is pretty amazing how dramatically life expectancy has risen over the past 200 years. From about 50,000 years ago up to the Industrial Revolution, no matter what society you lived in, average lifespans rarely went above 35. Where the Industrial Revolution first transformed societies is where lifespans began to increase. In the United States in 1850, the average lifespan was 39. In 1900, it was 47.3. In 1950, it was 68.4. Again, today it's nearing 80 and continues to increase no matter all the horrible things we do to seemingly try to kill ourselves. Americans have doubled their lifespans in 164 years. Why? It's the same reason why the world's population keeps increasing, and it's rooted in keeping children healthy. Better living standards, especially more nutritious diets and access to clean drinking water, has reduced infections and illness. In addition, the increase in immunizations against infectious and parasitic diseases like smallpox, polio, the measles, and other major childhood killers has saved millions of lives. Life expectancy has increased not because more adults are reaching older, 
old age, but because more children are living to the age of 20. The maps on the University of Oregon's Mapping History website show the dramatic increase of lifespans in U.S. history. However, when you switch the map to show those alive at age 20, the average lifespan increase isn't nearly as dramatic. The greatest positive to get out of all of this is that children now have a better chance to make it to adulthood than ever before. Are we all going to die? Likely, yes. But at least most of us get to live for a while before we do.